Good morning, it's uh, Wednesday, June 3rd, and uh, I'm reading from Eugene Peterson's Living the Message, uh, his daily devotional book. Today is, is uh, good news about ourselves. The personal dimension of the gospel is good news about ourselves. The reality of what is within us is every bit as important as the news from the political, industrial, and scientific centers of the world. Even if world peace were an accomplished fact and the domestic, domestic economy stabilized to everyone's satisfaction, we still must deal with ourselves. No matter how nice a house we live in, no matter how well educated we become, no matter how secure we feel in job or family, no matter how well we manage to provide an appearance of competence and happiness, if we are filled with anxieties and guilt and hopelessness, we cannot make it. If we cannot escape the conviction that there's no, there are no good or have no meaning, that is bad news. We need a sense of integrity and purpose. We need to count, to mean something, to be important to somebody, to make a difference. And he's uh, basing this off Galatians 2, verse 20b. It is no longer important that I appear righteous before you or have your good opinion, and I'm no longer driven to impress God. Christ lives in me. The life you see me living is not mine, but is lived by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I'm not going to go back on that. So uh, I like his verse that Christ lives in me. It's not my life, but it's, it's Christ who lives within me. Um, yeah, no matter where you go, there you are. I have an old saying that I heard a long time ago when I was moving to a different state. Um, you know, if you have some issues going on within yourself, you feel like if you move, just a change of scenery, uh, things will change within yourself. Well, not really. It doesn't. You just bring it along with you and you uh, continue to deal with it um, for, for years. Um, there's, a, there's a sense of courage and a sense of uh, letting go when you can face uh, some of these issues you've been dealing with. And uh, what he's saying is that Christ lives within us and the Spirit is within us to, to, um, to help us and guide us. It's not all about our uh, struggling to, to prevail. It's, it's letting Christ uh, within us act and, and heal us from the inside. Um, this week has been been tough in a lot of different ways with the COVID, with the, um, the Black Lives Matter, those kinds of things. It's an issue that I, I've been hesitant to address um, because it's safe for me in my own home in Milwaukee. Well, sort of, I guess, but relatively safe. And um, uh, I don't see sometimes the need to, to go out. But there is a sense, too, that you need to stand with people um, and declare it's, it, what's right, that, that we're all God's children and that we all deserve equal, equal say, equal opportunity, those kinds of things. And uh, what little we can do sometimes makes a big difference. Um, so uh, we'll go from there and see what happens, but uh, feel the need to do something. Um, not radical, but just to do something. So. Anyway, let us pray. Gracious and living God, we thank you for our lives. We, we thank you that you act in us, within us, um, that we are important, that uh, we, we do make a difference, that we can make a difference, and we can find meaning and purpose in what we do, however, however big or small it is. Um, continue to enrich our lives and guide us. In your name we pray. Amen. Until tomorrow, have a blessed day.